No Film School's coverage of Cinegear 2019 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. And Firefly, unlimited music and non-GMO hosting. anything right now would be the Titan lights. Those are the RGB, any colors. You can program them to do like different effects. The kit is like $8,000. I would have the Anjanu 12 lens prime set with me, a Sony Venice. Uh, probably this thing right here. If money was no issue, I'd be driving around with that. That'd be my daily driver. So the Anjanu Prime, Anjanu has not made Prime since like the 50s or the 60s. It's been a long, long time. It's full frame, it's high end, so it's like 25,000 a piece, I think. So they're not for most folks, but you also have options to pull off the back element, to shim them and put little pieces of glue and kind of muddy up the image if you want, but it also is super pristine and it's made to match and it's designed by the same folks that did the zoom. So if you already have 24 to 290 or a set of DP zooms or something, these primes are gonna fit in perfect on that. So Tiffin's got a new Steadicam out. That thing's pretty rad. I don't do Steadicam, but it's still a cool thing. It's, I mean, I was blown away by it. I would buy a Paramount Studios. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably get a motor crane. A motor crane with like a Mobi XL. I just am a big fan of the tech, the customer support as well as key. You know, you can buy a product from a company, but if you buy a product and it comes with a really good customer service, there's a more than likely chance you're gonna keep going back to them just for that. I would buy the uh, Cook i7 135 millimeter prime lens. Why, what about the Cook? Well, no, it's not just the Cook, it's that lens. It's There's something very, very sweet about it. That's the problem, like if it were numbers, it's all, it's easy, but it's, it's, it's not numbers, it's art. It's like, it's something that just look at it and just go, ah. Probably get one of those balloon lights. <laughs> Any one of the like really big HMI balloons. I feel like I always want to use one, but it's expensive. And the helium has actually gotten super expensive all of a sudden too. So it's like, if money was no object, give me one of those. Yeah, probably a Panavision 35 millimeter camera. <laughs> I'd probably leave with that. 35 mil is a staple. Um, it's what everyone dreams to shoot on. It's what I've dreamed to shoot on ever since I was a kid. Um, problem is the industry's you know, changed in a way where, yeah, it's decentralized and democratized filmmaking for a lot of people by going towards digital. But if I had to choose to shoot film or digital, I'll shoot, shoot film any day.